Ellie and Moore married. They live in a quiet place called a Finnish archipelago. For a while, the pastor and the housekeeper couldn't find anywhere to live, so they decided to stay in the wilderness where there's hardly any connection to the outside world, like the internet. While Mu is at work, Ellie enjoys being surrounded by nature. Their life might seem ordinary. They eat meals together and go to bed, but they don't have much in common besides that. Ellie and Mu have different interests and ways of looking at life. One day, Mu tells Ellie that his friend Olavi wants to visit them. Olavi lives in Paris but can't work properly because of pandemic rules. He wants to stay with them for a few months. When Ellie hears about Olavi's visit, she cleans up the house and makes it cozy. Olavi arrives on the archipelago and meets Lena, a charming woman who lives there. Ellie greets Olavi but then goes inside and almost cries. She used to date Olavi and they loved each other, but he left her. After that, she met and married Mu. Ellie and Olavi have a chance to talk alone. They sort out their feelings. It seems like they've moved on, but Ellie has trouble sleeping at night, hearing Olavi's footsteps above their bedroom. For the next few days, Ellie, Mu, and Olavi spend time together. But Ellie finds it harder and harder because of her feelings for Olavi. Mu soon has to leave for work and promises to return in a few days. Ellie decides to spend time with Olavi. She shows him around the island and talks about her relationship with Mu. One night, Olavi makes a terrible dinner but entertains them with jokes. Later, Ellie and Mu lock themselves in the bedroom to be alone. Olavi has to listen to Ellie's sounds of pleasure and wishes he could be in Mu's place. The next day, Mu goes to church and Ellie spends time by the sea. When Mu returns, Ellie invites Olavi to join them at church. During the service, Ellie finds herself looking at Olavi more than her husband, remembering their past relationship. After church, Mu tells them he has to leave for the mainland for a few days for a funeral. Meanwhile, Olavi talks to Lena and notices she has another admirer. Ellie suggests that Olavi would be a good match for Lena because he's handsome, educated, and cheerful. When they get home, Olavi starts to pay more attention to Ellie, which makes her feel confused. They spend the evening together by the sea, relaxing and having a drink. In the evening, Ellie goes to her bedroom and hears Olavi's footsteps. This excites her, and she pleasures herself. The next morning, Olavi and Ellie go fishing. During the fishing trip, Ellie confesses that she wants to leave the island and live happily, but her husband is holding her back. Olavi sympathizes with her because they both know what they want in life and how to achieve it. When they return home, Ellie wants to change clothes, but Olavi enters the bedroom. Ellie wants to be alone, but she doesn't mind Olavi's company. They realize they share mutual sympathy and desires, so Olavi seduces Ellie to spend time together. However, they are interrupted by Lena and other island residents who visit them. Ellie feels jealous of Lena's charm. Back in the bedroom, Ellie feels betrayed but decides to return to the guests. At night, Olavi and the others set sail on a yacht to continue the party. When Olavi returns home at dawn, he finds Ellie angry and chopping wood to calm herself down. Later, Ellie and Olavi go to the beach to swim. Despite being attracted to each other, Ellie doesn't let Olavi get too close because she feels betrayed. On their way home, Ellie holds Olavi's hand, showing her sympathy for him, but Olavi is afraid of starting a personal relationship with her because she's married. Back home, they find out that Mickey has arrived from the mainland earlier than planned. The preacher talks about the joys of island life, but Ellie is lost in her own thoughts. In the evening, Ellie and Olavi forget to close the bedroom door while having a good time together. Olavi hears Ellie's moans and looks into the room, but Ellie continues to stay with her husband to make Olavi jealous. The next morning, Olavi says he can't go to church with Ellie's husband because of his workload. Taking it as a hint, Ellie also refuses to go, causing her husband to leave alone. Later, Ellie tries to show attention to Olavi, but he rejects her because he's busy with a scientific project. Upset, Ellie goes to the seashore to do yoga and relax. Returning home, she cooks dinner, plays a musical instrument, and notices that Olavi has disappeared. Worried, she goes into the forest and finds Olavi taking a short walk. Ellie tries to get closer to Olavi again, but he pushes her away. He knows they have different life views and she's married, so he doesn't want anything serious. Despite their old feelings, Olavi doesn't see a point in pursuing anything romantic. However, he confesses his love for Ellie, making her question her marriage. The next day, Ellie suggests a boat trip and they go to a remote island. They find a beautiful spot for a picnic and their mutual sympathy grows stronger. They get close, but Ellie, feeling guilty about cheating on her husband, ends the date early. When Moore returns from church, he suggests celebrating their anniversary, but Ellie struggles with her feelings for Olavi. 
She locks herself in the bedroom, feeling overwhelmed with pain and doubt. Meanwhile, Mu talks to a friend about Ellie not wanting children, which deeply hurts him. He dreams of having a family and doesn't understand why Ellie feels differently. When Mu leaves to start a barbecue, Olavi expresses his jealousy to Ellie. He doesn't want Mu touching her and feels possessive. In the evening, Mu continues to show affection to Ellie, irritating her. She eventually snaps and argues with him, telling him to stay away. Feeling overwhelmed, Ellie leaves home to be alone with her thoughts. She swims in the sea and rests on the shore before returning home and asking Mu for forgiveness for her behavior. That same night, Ellie goes up to Olavi's bedroom and cheats on Mu with his best friend. She's not afraid of Mu hearing everything. In the morning, Mu goes upstairs and sees Ellie and Olavi in bed together. He takes it seriously and ends up alone in his own bedroom. Later, Ellie visits Mu and apologizes for her actions. Mu is pleased by her honesty and isn't angry because trust and sincerity are important to him. Olavi then announces he wants to leave, but Mu asks him to stay a few more days. During lunch, the men reminisce about their youth and funny stories from their long friendship. Mu suggests living in the present and picks up a gun aiming it at Olavi's head. He's still hurt by their betrayal and dreams of ending it all but can't gather the courage and starts crying. Olavi decides to leave, and his friends give him a lift to the departing ship. Before leaving, he invites Ellie to come with him, but she chooses to stay with her husband. Olavi swims away, and Ellie and Mo return home. In the evening, they hug and try to move on. Ellie admits she's afraid to be honest with Mu, but he's understanding and ready to forget everything because he loves her more than anything. Their life returns to normal, with Mu working as a pastor and Ellie enjoying nature, climbing her favorite apple tree. One day, Ellie sits by the window and sees a deer nearby. She realizes she loves only her husband. For the first time, she invites Mu to join her fishing, finally understanding that he's the only person she wants to spend her life with. Thanks for watching, we hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.